already talking smack? <laughs> that took all of 30 seconds. Um, it's very uh, surreal to be back at a convention after all this time. It's amazing. I was just reflecting. Um, we in the photo ops, we have a plexiglass and a HEPA filter and a fan and and uh, someone who runs up and says, "Put your masks back on." Uh, no, he doesn't. He says, "Put your mask back on." <laughs> and. It occurs to me that in, in the good old days, the pre-pandemic days, people would come up into photo ops and they would be like, all right, I want you to suck on my lollipop. <laughs> and I'd be like, sure, and what else? Okay, okay, and I want you to stick your tongue in my ear and then I'm gonna stick my tongue in Jensen's ear and I'm like, okay, cool, let's... <laughs> so it's a little bit of a hygiene recalibration that's going on here. <laughs> Um, I do wonder, over the years, how many diseases have been transmitted in the photo ops by me. Okay, gross. Um, well, it's really kind of exciting to be here. We're in, um, you know, we're in like supernatural territory here. This is, this is the real deal. You people are probably mostly demons. <laughs> kind of exciting. Um, you take off your masks and it's all like Leviathan teeth. Wow, that's why they're wearing masks. Um, hello, what's your name? Hi. Um, Hi. Sorry. I'm Marilyn. Um, Hi, Marilyn. My husband Alex, my friend Lauren. Um, you did the pregnancy reveal thing on Friday for us because um, I'm currently 18 weeks pregnant. <laughs> so with my daughter. Congratulations. I'm. So. I, it's been misheard a you <laughs> briefly. I thought you said I got you pregnant. And I was like, oh, <laughs> probably not the best place to share that information. No, 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 no. Um, anyway, so thank you so much for that because, yeah, it was fun to share on Facebook. Anyway, my mom and dad, we introduced them to Supernatural a couple years ago. Um, they really wanted to be here specifically to see and meet you because they love your character and just how, you know, unconditional love is the central theme to your character. They had a house fire like last week, <laughs> so my mom was in the hospital with pneumonia and like all this stuff. So I just <laughs> basically wanted to say that my mama Kay loves you and just how uplifting you are. She has depression and like all this other stuff. And COVID's been really hard because she's so gregarious and she loves people and she hasn't been able to like hug anybody. <laughs> so Jesus, I'm just... <laughs> this is super depressing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Congratulations um, on the impending new little one. Thank That's you. very exciting, and I'm so sorry for your family for yeah. in their home. Is, okay. the, is the house gone? No, it's, okay. it was just in the living room. If my dad didn't have an enlarged prostate and have to pee at 2 a.m., he wouldn't have... <laughs> Those are his words. <laughs> he wouldn't have seen the flames that were in the living room. It was an electrical fire. And they were taller than him, but it was a four foot square foot area. So, right. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, it's not, you know, it's not that often that people are like, oh, luckily I have a large prostate. Yes. So, I so guess fine. we could count that as a win. That's the only time he's been thankful for his prostate, he said. Yeah. Um, but other than that. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm sure uh, they're super excited for you to be sharing all of these things. Yeah. Uh, well, when I'm, my joy meter is low, when I'm feeling down, uh, sometimes I start a small fire in the living room. Yes! <laughs> On fire! <laughs> um, I think it's been a hard 16, 18 months for the entire world. Uh, some people have been hit much harder than others, some people have lost loved ones. Um, I, I've had a struggle myself in the last 18 months, and um, I am, if for myself, I think I'm, I'm targeting a more even keel so, um, so that the pendulum swings just aren't so um, Horizon. dramatic. <laughs> um, but there, it's impossible, it, this is an axiom in, in Buddhism, that it it's impossible to avoid um, hardship, um, but uh, it could be, it could be tempered um, by 
just not getting too um, wrapped up in it, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's a platitude and probably useless, but I'm going to share it with you anyway. That's great. She'll love it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Bye.